So you're playing Disney Dreamlight Valley and you're looking for some tips and best practices to help you along in your game. Don't you worry, I have 10 great tips for you today that'll be super helpful in addition to the 14 that I've actually already shared. So if you haven't already seen that video, make sure you go check it out because there are 14 really great tips, especially for beginners. Also, make sure you stay tuned to the very end as I have a bonus tip that you are not going to want to miss. So let's go ahead and get started with all of these 10 tips. All right, so tip number one, I would say to reorganize your valley for strategy purposes. So my valley probably looks a little bit different from yours. Um, I've moved my house, or should I say my shack, <laughs> down here in the meadows so um, that it's easier for me to access all of my vegetables because the meadow is a great place for planting uh, vegetables with a little boost in growth speed. Again, check out my first tips video for more information on that. But yes, yeah, so I've located my house right across from where I'll be doing majority of my farming there's a well over there for easy access to fast travel and I have my storage boxes and everything here so this was the perfect place for my house now in addition to that I would also recommend let me just get into the map view that you place all of your collectible items kind of like in one area. So for example, I've moved all of the apple trees and raspberry bushes to one spot up here in the plaza so that when I'm going to collect those items, um, it's easy for me to do. It's just one, you know, quick, <laughs> quick thing. That I have all the banana trees in one area and also some blueberry bushes, although I might move those up into the forest of valor, but you get what I mean. Move everything into a place that makes it easier for you to collect so you're not spending a lot of time looking around the valley for the things that you need. Since we're on the topic of reorganizing the valley, here's another tip. I would suggest that you take all of your storage boxes. For example, I have one here that I originally placed next to Goofy's stall in the meadow. And I like to place them right here next to the wells. Now you might be wondering why I would do something like this. And it's pretty simple. One, because it makes accessing your storage really quick and easy when you're on the go. So let's just say I need to go to Dazzle Beach to drop some things off. I'll go ahead and fast travel to the beach. And when I get here, you can see that I have a storage box right here next to the well, and I can quickly drop off any of the items that I need to without traveling too far onto Dazzle Beach if I don't wanna spend a lot of time here. Moving along into tip number three, this is a tip that I could say is one that you can choose to use or not use depending on how you'd like to progress through your game. So there are instances that you may need to get across a bridge early on to maybe collect more iron or certain gemstones or anything like that. And you may not be able to get through it if you don't have upgraded tools. So you can see that this is blocked off currently. So the quickest way to access the other side of the bridge in Forest of Valor, for example, would be to go into your furniture menu again and simply pick your well up and move it to the other side. Now I can go to my map and I can quickly fast travel to the other side of this bridge. And then to get back on the other side, you would just do the same thing. Also a quick shout out to the community member who shared this tip with me. I think it can be very helpful and I appreciate you just taking the time to share some additional tips with us. For tip number four, let's talk about some more gardening tips. So if you haven't already unlocked the Forest of Valor, this is a great tip, especially for beginners if you are interested in making a lot of money. So we talked about carrots in my first video. Today we're gonna be talking about canola. So the top three things that you can plant in your valley is canola, um, pumpkins and carrots but canola is a great return on investment and you want to make sure you come here and upgrade goofy stall I think you only have to upgrade it once in order to get canola seeds and then you just want to create a little crop plot here like I have with as many holes as possible where you can plant as much canola as possible now I'm gonna show you exactly how much money we can make here we are at Goofy stand. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell this canola seed now check this out y'all we have 50 143, 143 canola sells for 15,000 gold coins. That's the money maker, okay? Y'all don't wanna miss out on these coins, so make sure you're planting your canola. Tip number five is a great tip, especially for anyone who's just starting out in the game, and I wish I would have found out about this sooner so that I could have shared it in my first tip video. You wanna make sure you pick the right gardening buddy okay when it when it comes to gardening you want to pick the right buddy now my favorite gardening buddy right now is wally for obvious purposes look how freaking cute he is so essentially what happens is that they can kind of get in the way when you're gardening so you see wally's right behind me and he's being so helpful of course but if something happens like when i turn around here he can get stuck in front of you or like this yellow light that i have right here sometimes they get too close and you end up accidentally talking to them instead of picking up the carrots but if you're just starting out in the 
the game, I would highly suggest either using Marlin here, who uses his magic for gardening, or Remy, who's super small and will stay out of the way when you're picking up all of your fruits and vegetables. Now let's say that you've already picked your gardening buddy and unfortunately it's not either Remy or Marlin or one that's more efficient and you have to work with the ones that you have. Well, here's a little tip that you can use and I refuse to do this to Wally so unfortunately, I'm sorry Goofy, it's gonna have to be you. Go into your inventory and pull out some fencing and place a little box like so. And you can see Goofy is inside. You could just walk him inside or whatever. But once he's inside there or whoever is inside there in this case it's goofy you want to go ahead and close the fence off all right so our canola is all ready to harvest up let's go ahead and give it a go as you can see our relationship with him is still improving so it looks like it's working let's just go ahead all the way to the end and we'll see what happens once you've harvested all up now <laughs> I'm so curious to see what happens now we've removed the fencing all right and there it is. <laughs> so yes, it does work. As you can see, <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and collect all of this stuff up. Wow, wow, wow. So yeah, it does work. I've seen that in a couple other videos, but if you just need them to kind of stay out of your way while you're gardening so that you don't bump into them or uh, miss out on any of the little orange glows or anything like that, you could just build a fence around them until you're done. <laughs> So moving right along into our next tip, I would say always make sure you're leveling up your friendships as quickly as possible because the higher your friendships are with your, your individual Valley members, the better they are at helping you with their designated rules. So Wally here, we are almost at level 10 in our friendship and he will pull out a lot of crops when we are gardening together. So make sure you're always, always, always improving your friendships with the Valley members. The villagers are depending on you, my friend. Now, while we're on the topic of friendship, let's talk about favorite things of the day. So if hey, I run over here, here and talk to Anna, we can see that um, you can give them a gift. Now, I've mentioned this in my last video as well, where you want to look and see what their favorite things of the day are because this will give you extra friendship points and it's really helpful for improving relationships. However, running all over the uh, valley to try to figure out what someone's favorite thing of the day is can be time consuming. So instead, if you go to the collections menu, you scroll over to characters, you can see their favorite things of the day right down here at the bottom of the menu. So it makes it really easy for you to go collect that thing and then find them. You're probably wondering, why are we inside the castle? Well, here is a really, really cool tip. If you come on over here to Remy's realm, you can come in here and experiment with meals. Now you might be wondering like, okay, what's so great about that? Well, when you cook at home, you have to pay or harvest the ingredients and you have to use coal. If you're just trying to experiment and learn a new recipe or whatever the case may be, you can come into Remy's Dream World and you can take any of these items that you want. For example, none of it costs you any money and none of it is going to use any coal. Now, one thing you do wanna keep in mind is that you can see that this fish entree is in my inventory right now. However, if I leave Remy's realm, then you'll see that it is removed from my inventory. It's no longer in there. So at the same time, you do get to experiment with recipes, but you can't leave with them. So just use this as strictly for experimental purposes and not if you're trying to keep any meals that you make in your inventory. All right, and my last tip for you all is to make sure you're searching around your valley for these blue chests here. These chests are super important because they contain moonstones and moonstones are really, really beneficial for your game. So you wanna make sure you find these chests so that you can collect those moonstones and I believe that only a few of these chests if not only one spawns each day so make sure you find those every single day when you're playing in the valley and now for the bonus tip I'm really excited to share this tip with you guys as I figured it out recently in one of my live streams when you are breaking down rocks and one of those orange uh, events happens where you can you need to collect everything up within a certain amount of time you can see I'm collecting up all of these orange coins and and then if you collect them all within the designated time, a chest will appear with a bonus of like upwards of 200 gold coins in them. So it's really cool if you ever come across this event, try to make sure you get all of the coins in that amount of time so that you can get that extra bonus chest. 
So there you have it, 10 excellent tips to help you along in your gameplay. I hope you have found some of the tips, if not all of the tips, useful. If you have, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you love Disney Dreamlight Valley, I go live Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I also will be releasing more videos just like this one in the future. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a beat. But until next time, guys, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.